episode 3285, Against All Odds. Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Happy, happy day. I hope you're having a fabulous week. I got to tell you, I'm still on the road, so I appreciate your patience and a lot is happening, but we will leave that for another episode. Today is all about inspiration, motivation, and it's truly setting your heart where the fire needs to be against all odds. For those of you who are brand new to Creature Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head over to creaturenow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter. They keep it simple strategy, everyday solutions to live, love, and impact. Well, take a deep breath because sometimes we just need to stop. And I just really want you to focus on where you are right now. Maybe you're driving into work. Maybe you're going to pick up the kids. Maybe the kids are screaming in the background and you're like, Christiane, just drown them out. (laughs) Just make more noise than they do. I can do that. Trust you me, I can. But I'm not going to yell real loud because then I will probably be waking up the household right now as I'm visiting right now my son in love and daughter and grandchildren and handling some situations down here. And I would just ask for your prayers. Um, We'll have more information on that to come. But Uh, Sometimes when you're faced with things that you really don't ever imagine, the true heart shows. And I think sometimes our inspiration, actually, I don't think so. I know so. And that's a pretty strong statement. But inspiration is driven by your own heart. And I know some people would say, oh yeah, but people write books and, you know, they've got these great statements and all that. Yeah, because in the season that you're in, it just jumps off the page at you. You see something that's written in your social media feed and you're like, oh yeah, that resonates with me. That's so awesome. You know, it's interesting whether you're a believer or not, meaning a Christian, Maybe you're one who says, gosh, why, why is it that I can reread a Bible verse and it can be the same Bible verse over and over and over again, but every single time I reread that Bible verse, it's like the meaning changes. It has a different application in my life at that moment. I'm not going to get all theological right now, but I will tell you this, the Bible is a living word. And there's a reason for that. And when you look for inspiration and motivation, my friend, you got to look at your heart. And sometimes I know it sounds strange because life is like rocks and sand, right? Constantly shifting and testing us. But it is how we keep treading water and embracing the storms that determine our ability to thrive against all odds. I look at the season that we're in right now for us here in the U S it's winter. And some of us are experiencing a little bit of a colder winter down South. It's gotten really frigid for me. The winter has come into my home, meaning that a pipe bust and yeah, that's not fun and water all over the place. And yeah, we just won't go there because that's not really inspiration, motivation, right? It's not, but as nature dips into its wintry slumber, we find ourselves facing the cold winds that barren landscape that comes with the season. And it's easy to get weighed down by the challenges and setbacks. You just want to curl up in front of a fireplace. But it is during these times that our true strength shines through. It's your heart, my friend. And every individual journeys through their own unique winters facing personal battles that may seem insurmountable. Yet, we must remember that within every storm lies an opportunity for growth and resilience. It's during these cold, dark moments that our character is forged and our spirit shines the brightest. That's the heart, my friend. Sometimes you got to go have a heart checkup. And not the one where you have to go into your dock and they listen to your heart. I'm talking about your emotions, your feelings. 
Are you alive? Where are you living? The human spirit is an unstoppable force capable of conquering any storm. I want to think about it, you know, and saying that we possess this unwavering spirit within us, ready to face any adversity. So instead of succumbing to the pressures of our circumstances, we truly channel that inner strength and allow it to propel us forward. Falling forward or following forward. Either way, it's not going backwards. The key to thriving in harsh conditions when right now maybe your circumstances feel like the bitter cold, is to cultivate a mindset of resilience and determination. It's about consciously choosing to embrace the storms rather than being consumed by them. Just like the trees that stand tall in in the face of winter's onslaught, right? We too can find the strength to weather the storms and flourish against all odds. Good friend of mine, Dan Miller passed away this weekend. He was a number one New York Times bestselling author. More importantly, he was a dad, a papa. He was a friend, a mentor, a son. He was a man who always saw the good on the other side, regardless of what was going on. And let me tell you, if you knew this man's life story, you would be amazed. He just had this different perspective and could bring it out of anybody else. He had this fascination with eagles. And when I think about our circumstances, when things just aren't going our way, when we're faced with challenges, trials and tribulations that just can eat us up from the inside out. I can't help but think of my good friend, Dan, and his fascination with eagles. You see, just as a majestic eagle soar into the storms, right? And I don't know if you know that, but that's what they do. We too can draw inspiration from these magnificent creatures. Eagles are not deterred by the ferocity of the storm. Instead, they rise above it, using the currents of the wind to their advantage. And in the face of adversity, they spread their wings wide, harnessing the power of the storm to propel them even higher. Who would have thought? Now, some people would say, well, that's just plain stupid. Well, have a talk with God. See if that works. He created them that way. And I would like to think that We as humans, even though we can't fly, we can soar higher above the storms, even when we're in the middle of them. So like the eagles, we must not fear the storms that life sends our way, but rather embrace them as opportunities for growth and transformation. And by harnessing the power within us, we can rise above the challenges, getting a new perspective and soaring to new heights of resilience and strength. Remember, the challenges we face are not meant to break us, but rather to mold us, truly shape us into the best versions of ourselves. Don't you want to become your best selfie? I mean, come on. And that's not the one that's like, you know, all uppity up and, oh, it's all about me. No, that's looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, I love that person and your reflection Yeah, we'll leave that one for another episode. I'm sure you can fill in the blank. But it is through perseverance that we gain the strength to rise above our circumstances, unyielding in our pursuit of happiness and fulfillment and joy. Every setback is a comeback. Right? Every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. And when we encounter them, it also stretches us. It grows us. It gives us a chance to learn, to adapt and to become empowered. So as we try to figure out these wintry landscapes of life, let us embrace the storms with open hearts and unwavering determination. You got this, my friend. You really can do it. But all you have to do is take that next step and then remind yourself that the cold winds and icy roads, yeah, they're just temporary. Remember, the joy comes in the morning 
and that warmth of spring will eventually grace our lives again. So keep treading water, finding that strength in every wave that crashes against you and thrive against all odds. Remember the storms may be fierce, but you are fiercer still. Believe in yourself for within you lies the power, the power to conquer the toughest winters and emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient than ever before. So let us brave the storm together and emerge on the other side, stronger, bolder, and more alive than ever. Winter may be harsh, but within us, the eternal spirit of spring, ready to bloom when the time is right. Go in peace, be present, be incredible, be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a glorious, blessed day. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan. Oh,